Okay, well, today we're going to uh, be moving past the narrative section of our business plan and start talking a little bit about the financial tools in our business plan. Um, we're going to take a, a look at the uh, egg plan and what is in there for your financial tools this week. We're going to start talking about a balance sheet. Um, you can and should keep working on uh, some of the narrative parts, some of the, you know, Writing your business description. What is uh, what is your location and operation? Those components you'll you'll want to have in place and uh, work on your goals and your mission statement. And remember, this really is uh, beyond this class. I hope you take this with you. And this really is and probably should be uh, a lifelong um, tool that you use throughout your farming career. Come back to it. Check in with your goals. Make sure that they're accurate for your current life situation. You should probably do that every few years, uh, maybe three to five years, depending on exactly where you're at in the starting. Um, every year you should set the yearly goals that you're working on, and some of that will be uh, based on some of these financial um, tools that we're going to get into here in the next, the last section of the course. Uh, for now, we are going to take a look at uh, a balance sheet within the egg plan as well as a couple of your resources within your book. So we will go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, in an egg plan, in the financial plan section of egg plan, uh, there are a number of resources that are available. Uh, this is a, a new tool that I just noticed has come on to egg plan. I just noticed this. this Last week, there's some little short informational videos that are parts uh, added throughout uh, throughout the um, tools. So it'd be good to check those out. That's in the main header of the of that uh, section. And again, the there are a lot of um, resources available here. Uh, here is a. Uh, 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 Financial position is where the balance sheet is located within this one. Uh, there is a template balance sheet that you can borrow and use uh, from this, which is uh, really just changes. So let's take a look at that. And this is it, yeah. The first link there, that eggplant financial spreadsheet, that's your, is a balance sheet that works here for this tool and uh, it really has gotten to be quite a bit more uh, in depth here so this new tool is uh, has a lot more detail uh, than the old one which was just a template uh, balance sheet but uh, it was a template uh, excel file i mean uh, now this has a lot of data entry that you can work through as a much more uh, robust balance sheet tool and, and gives you some opportunities to work through the uh, the balance sheet in different settings, so you can take a look at you know the basics here on the general info page. Here's where you will start to fill in uh, your assets, uh, business assets, non-current business assets, uh, your inventory lists, your, what kind of inventory that you have on your farm. Liability, what kind of loans do you have, where, where is that going to, um, you can do, here's a loan entry page that has the, um, has the uh, ability to connect back, I believe, to that uh, liability entry page, and then your final balance sheet comes out uh, in this tool. So, um, much more in-depth financial tool here that it has a it's part of the new egg plan, uh, and I think you want to play around with that. I'd suggest going through this video that uh, goes through that one. You, it'll be helpful, I think, in showing what they are working on. And then there's some other, again, you know, the resources here, some other uh, good uh, backup resources from other universities and, and places like that that help you. Um, understand what your balance sheet's about and how this is going to be helpful. Right. And don't forget, in our books we have uh, reading assignments as well that can uh, that are about your balance sheet and your finance. So yeah, there's uh, 
parts of your reading assignments, parts of your books that are about your financial situation, uh, starting on page 51, if I can find it, there it is, 51, of the, uh, of the Building a Better Business, Sustainable Business book. Um, your financial situation uh, starts there and works through um, a lot of information on how to set these things up. Uh, one of the big ones in this one is uh, working through and developing your family living expenses and projections. Uh, that's an important aspect of what you're working on doing. I mean, we'll need to know so you can uh, get into your balance sheet. Um, there are some good resources. This section, that financial uh, information section in here, has a lot of different uh, resources, a lot of different information to work through. Some of it isn't necessarily relevant to where you're at right now, so don't worry about that. Uh, but some things you'll want to see in the future, uh, working on, on those details uh, for your financial record keeping. And some of the worksheets again in the back. And also, uh, in the Fearless Farm Finances book, Beginning on page 88, there's a the section three, the uh, getting set up and doing your big big picture of your financial information. Uh, chapter eight starts talking about and working through a uh, balance sheet. So, uh, so those are some of the places that you definitely want to start uh, working through, working with gathering that information, and we'll continue to work on this. And this will take some time to work through. Some of it won't be uh, relevant if you don't actually have a farm business to so building your balance sheet out. So, uh, but the things you can definitely start to do for everybody should do and can do is uh, get a good handle on what your family living expenses are so that you can understand what your needs are going to be from the farm as a business. So those are uh, your, we'll be added, I'll be adding this here. To our assignment section, but that's what we want to start working on uh, this week and, and keep going. If you have any questions, by all means, uh, contact me and let me know, and we can work through those. Otherwise, I uh, look forward to seeing those things added in uh, to Eggplant, and uh, we'll go from there. Have a good day.